Hi everyone and welcome to this group immersion. My name is Clemens Truck, I'm the co-founder and the CEO of Solvana by Mind Valley, and it's really an honor to be here together with all of you in the spirit through time and space. Please relax and get as comfortable as you possibly can. We will begin very very shortly. Use your headphones or earphones for the best possible sound experience and stay tuned for a surprise gift at the end of this session. What you will experience now is a group immersion that's originally available on the Solvana app but we made it openly available here for you for free so that you can experience the magical benefits of connecting and meditating and immersing with other human beings in real-time unity and coherence through online group meditations that we here at Solana call group immersions. You see, here at Solvana, we are building the world's largest temple for spirituality and we are driven by a mission and higher purpose to heal, unite and raise the consciousness of humanity through group immersions like the one you're about to experience right now and other transformational programs. So what are group immersions and why they are so special? In short, group immersions are online group meditations, but like no other, where you have hundreds of people participating, connecting with each other mentally, spiritually, energetically, emotionally. For example, other people are listening to this right now together with you in this very special moment. Hundreds of people have listened to the same track today, and thousands of people have listened to this in the past, and thousands of people will listen to this every single day in the future. So if you were listening to this group immersions through the Solvana app, you would actually see the profile photos and the exact number of people who are immersing and listening right now together with you. What makes group immersions so special is that every group immersion is designed and engineered to help you experience the unprecedented sense of unity and oneness and connectedness both with yourself, with everyone listening, with whole humanity and all the sentient beings as well as our planet Earth and the lakes, the mountains, all living forces on this gorgeous planet. And at the end of every group immersion, we also send out positive intentions and healing energies to the rest of humanity and entire world. What we are really doing on group immersions, as you will experience now, is we use collective intention to help ourselves and each other and also to help humanity, the environment and all the sentient beings inhabiting this beautiful planet Earth. So not only this session and not only this group immersion is is designed to help you and not only you will benefit when you are being immersed in this group immersions but you are also contributing to bettering the world to healing and raising and uniting the consciousness of humanity to spreading more love and light on this gorgeous planet so without further ado let's begin with this group immersion enjoy your experience Hey everyone, welcome to this group immersion. My name is Deborah King and in this particular immersion we're going to be exploring your inner systems and galaxies. But right now just close your eyes and kick back and imagine that you've entered a beautiful temple-like arena. It's all white marble. Notice it's emitting this soft violet kind of glow and you know picture yourself taking a seat here in the arena. And as you find your place and, and sit down, look around at everyone else who's listening, listening with you right now. You're all here together in this amazing arena of love and light. And as you look across this magnificent translucent dome, look at all these people that are sitting here with you. And notice a hush kind of falls over all of you as you hear the sound of a crystal bowl and it grows louder and louder. You'll hear the resonance of the angelic overtones that flow right into the arena. Now, before we can start this journey to the celestial realms, I want to make sure you're properly grounded. Just imagine there's a beam of light going out from the soles of your feet and going straight down into planet Earth, right through any floors or other man-made construction, asphalt, whatever, just sense it going right down into the earth. It's as if you have roots coming right out of your feet. They're anchoring you into the core of the earth. 
So let's just really make strong that connection with planet Earth, our, our beloved Mother Gaia. Now imagine a big, beautiful stream of violet light coming down from the higher realms and entering your physical body. Entering your physical body right at your crown chakra, right at the top of your head. And now that you're connected through your feet to the earth and through the top of your head with the higher realm, just take a look across the arena. Check out all these beautiful rays that you see coming down and bathing every single person in that violet light. And everyone who's joined you here today with me and is listening, they're just as grounded and connected as you are. Now, notice a huge portal has appeared in front of you. Let's all head toward the portal. It's in the center of the arena. So this particular portal, it's a beautiful elevator. I want you to notice it's made of, of gold crystal, and it's gonna lift you up, up toward higher vibrations. So see everybody walking down from all the tiers of the arena. They're all approaching this elevator. We're all in this together. And some people have already taken the elevator up into higher realms. And I want you to know as you get closer to the elevator, you're in a very safe and protected place. You're under my energetic umbrella and I, I'll keep you totally safe. Now take a deep breath and just exhale it and Ah, release any tension that's still left in your body. Let's do that again. Let's take another deep breath and exhale, releasing the last bit of tension from your body. And we're gonna use our combined energy to blast off through this portal. We're gonna go into the star systems that are within your being. So yes, you are a star system. You're full of revolving lights of incredible colors and, and sounds and, and really sparks of illumination that look like stars. The Alpha Centauri of your inner being feels the gravitational pull of the divine light of awakened love. It's, it's like a beating heart right at the center of the universe. But before we can launch off into that into that galaxy. We're like a rocket poised on the platform. You know, we're like, we're waiting for liftoff. Don't forget the feet connection though, to the earth. So uh, just intend for mother earth to receive any burdens that you have that may be too heavy. Let mother earth simply absorb from you your grief, your guilt, your shame, your anger, or any desire you have for revenge and out of her love for all living beings, the mother wants you to fly free of encumbrances. You want to fly free like a hawk or a heron or a seagull. So you'll want to use the rising air current to soar gracefully, gracefully in flight. Okay, we don't have to flap our wings. This is just gonna happen. So now I want you just to take your awareness to your abdominal area. We're gonna fill it with stardust. So this is how undigested emotions can just dissolve in a shower of, of luminescent rainbow light. So you know your digestion takes place in that area that's between your power center of your third chakra and your heart center of your fourth chakra. So a lot of uh, metabolism and digestion takes place in that area. So just allow these sparks of stardust to clear the way for the fire in your belly to rise to new heights in your heart. So those powerful engines of the first stage, you hear them roar to life and we have liftoff. So everybody in the entire arena, all together we've just been launched into the upper stratosphere. So you might notice there's no sweeter place to travel than through the heart center like we are right now. You know, all we want is love. It's really true. 
So just let any pain, any betrayal you've ever suffered, just let it melt away in the flame of lava. Just float along on waves of delight, on currents of happiness. Just float along the stream of life. Now you'll see little bubbles of bliss spreading outward. They're, they're radiating from the center of your heart. They're going out down your arms and through your hands and right out your fingertips. You can't hold on to it. That would stop the flow. So direct that unlimited flow of, of bliss. Let it go to your loved ones, your friends, and, and even to those you, you don't like because, hey, unconditional love has no judgment. It loves everyone. It loves all of life from the smallest ant to the farthest reach of an infinite galaxy. Love is the glue that holds the star systems together. It's the gravitational pull of love that binds us, all of us here together in this arena. Here in this space, together, we are one. But we have, we have further to go. Our rocket ship has, we shed our booster engines, didn't we? And they're, that's what propelled us as far as we've gotten. But the second stage is fired now, and you're on target. I want you to feel a pulse in your third eye. You know, it's slightly above your eyebrows. It's a little bit above your physical eyes and in the center of your forehead. So feel into how you're at the gateway of the higher dimensions. This is where there are worlds within worlds within worlds, worlds of star systems, of galaxies, and, and multi-universes. Hear the beckoning call of celestial sound and sense the fringes of color that you've never seen before trickle into the edge of your inner sight. Notice how peaceful it is here, here in the inner harmonic convergence. But still, we continue upward, don't we? We're, we're just like feathers in a draft. Just feel yourself float right up, right up to the top of your head. And before you, sense the thousand-petaled lotus of your crown chakra. Ask yourself, what color is your personal lotus? Maybe your lotus is the color of the sacred ray that you came in on. Or perhaps it's an associated with an ideal you hold. Or maybe yours is pink and, and gold, the colors of divine love, or green, the color of nourishment and abundance. Or perhaps yours is blue, the color of protection and grace. And so gently, using your intention, pull open the petals of the lotus that you're sensing. Just allow it to gracefully unfurl, dazzling shaft of light, and it rises right from the center of the lotus. And out of this beam of light steps your spiritual guide. This is your personal guide. Let's take a moment and identify them. Maybe it's someone you knew in this life, in this life, who's led you on a path to your best self. Or maybe it's someone you don't recognize, but nevertheless, you feel a deep inner connection to them. Could be an ancient Vedic master, or perhaps an angel, or could be a wise ancestor from from this lifetime or maybe another lifetime. You know, this is someone you implicitly trust. They're, they're here to take you on the next step of your journey. So just bow in your heart to this kind teacher. This teacher, they, they radiate compassion and tenderness and mercy to you. And allow this guide to point to the petals of the lotus. This guide knows that each petal is a gateway, a different gateway, a thousand different gateways into still even higher realms. Now you'll feel a call, you'll feel a tug in a, in a certain direction. Just follow your personal instincts and head to the doorway that's most suited to you at this time. And you're standing on the threshold. It's a, it's a real point of departure here. It's, I'm helping you transition into another space, a, 
another awareness, a whole different experience. Maybe you want to visit a, an etheric retreat center, a temple of an ascended master, or maybe you'd like to go somewhere where you can learn how to best use your creative abilities. Or perhaps it's love of animals that's pulling you toward a realm where you can participate in the preservation of species. We need that now. We need to help develop new species that can adapt to our changing climate conditions. So stay with me. Let's rise a little higher in the star system. It's the power of the group that's making this happen. So just sense celestial bodies surrounding you, planets and stars, comets and moons. They're moving slowly, majestically through space. And there's clouds of stardust swirling in all directions, leaving a gossamer trail. Hear the chirping of a thousand crickets intermingled with the haunting melody of an ethereal flute. You can see music, you can hear colors, you can touch the invisible. It's quite a place, isn't it? So looking down from this lofty perspective we have, notice that we can sense the suffering of Earth. From this distance, we feel we don't feel fear, we don't feel anger, we just feel compassion. compassion. We see fires raging out of control. And they're, you know, they're burning swaths of forest and homes and even cars. We see rivers overflowing their banks and whole communities being destroyed. We see blizzards and hurricanes and tornadoes and tsunamis and damage everywhere. No doubt the elements have increased their destructive power and we got to bring them more into a peaceful state. So help me help the earth. Let's create a greater harmony between mankind and the natural world. Join me and focus on the element of fire. It's a perfect tool for transformation. Just feel it in your body as this red, vibrant energy. It warms you without burning, and it fuels your desire to, to act. And we're all acting now for the highest good. It's like the way the fire of digestion transforms the food you eat into the energy you need to live. And you know, at one end of the spectrum, it's true, fire touches things and turns them to ash. But on the other end, it's the fire of creativity that transforms your bright ideas into artistry. So when you're all fired up about something, you are really passionate about it. So I'm calling on every single one of you everyone in this group to feel their personal power of transformation. Just feel that blazing energy of your inner strength that has carried you up through your chakras and right out into the stars. So taming fire, that, that was a giant advancement in the development of man. Let's give fire the respect it deserves. Let's honor its transformative capabilities. Now we're space travelers right now and we know water, <laughs> pretty crucial here, isn't it? It's the whole basis of life. So when spaceships travel the, the cosmos, they're seeking a planet with water resources because without water, hey, we can't live. Just feel it in your whole body and energy field. Feel it as a blue-green energy. Feel water nourishing you from the very depths of your intuitive sense. So water represents your emotions, the swirling eddies of your feelings about yourself, your interactions with other people, about life in general. Just think, every day you take a shower and you allow the element of water to wash away impurities on every level. So join me and let's thank water for all it does for us. We send water our blessings of peace. Now let's talk about the air. Air is the element of the intellect. It's your, your ability to think or reason. It's air is what you use to create and send out your mental intentions. Air is also your breath. When you breathe in, we call it inspiration. 
bet you've plucked an idea out of thin air once or twice, right? Or had a sudden flash, flash of inspiration? inspiration? So join me and thank the, the air, air, the ether, ether, and its ability to connect you to the universal life force, to the, to the prana, the chi that supports you and activates your whole being. So earth is the very foundation of life. Its roots, uh, it, it connects you to your family and your path, your dharma in life. Every single one of you that are with me on this journey, you're connected to Mother Earth through your feet to the ground. We did that before we took off. And now feel Earth's gravitational pull. It's, it's going to show us our pathway back home. We don't need to worry about finding our way. I feel it now. Feel it pulling at us. So we'll gather up all our energy and Imagine now you're holding your hands out in front of you, palms facing down, and go into your heart space. There's where all that unconditional love is. And direct pink and gold energy out of your hands toward the earth. I want you to know that your efforts as a guardian of the earth's peace and, and sanctity, harmonious being, it's going to have a big effect on what happens when you get back. Just feel wave after wave after wave of the vibration of love that's coming from you. And it's coming from every person that's crowded around you as, as far as wide as you can see. You see nothing but people who've traveled together with you and with me. Feel that wave of love that washes over all of us and over the planet. Maybe you perceive it as a river of colors or as a river sound or sparks of light and see how the earth opens her arms to receive our blessing and sends her blessing back to us and notice the portals reappear there it is it's glowing softly it's beckoning to us it's saying come back come back time to come back and step inside the elevator with me and join me in descending down, down, down we go from the higher realms. And boom, you're back in your seat in the arena. And look around you. People are smiling and extending their gratitude to you and to everyone around them for all the work that each of us has done in helping the earth. And once again, the crystal bowl rings out its sound. And now, we're heading to a moment of silence in the arena, and we're left with a blissful feeling, trailing stardust. Until I see you again, you take care. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm sure you're buzzing and vibrating right now with wonderful energies of health, of wellness, love, unity and beautiful human connection. If you like this group immersion and you resonate with Debra King and her style and you would like Debra to help you invoke your divinity from within and help you unlock your psychic gift with powerful spiritual tools, you will absolutely love Debra's free webinar on Solvana. And to watch and experience Debra's free webinar absolutely free, simply click the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for being here and I cannot wait to connect with you again on another group immersion. See you soon.